All right, so let's take a look at what the uh, reconstruction of the computed tomography looks like. So in this script, what it does is it takes that rotation image uh, on the Hamamatsu flat panel sensor, and it converts it uh, into a sinogram, which then reconstructs the uh, cross-sectional tomography um, over a number of slices for the, the rotating image. So first what it does is it takes the flat field and dark field images that were previously generated, and it applies these to all the images in that picture of the switch rotating. That corrects for the, the dark field noise and inhomogeneity in the sensor response and in the x-ray beam. Then, what it does is it, in this script right now, what it's doing is it's apply, applying a, um, a skew correction matrix, and that's going to compensate for any residual top to bottom variation in, in, in intensity in the detected x-ray beam. Then, it's going to uh, generate a sinogram, and it's going to do this, it's going to start stepping through each each um, horizontal, each vertical line for a given horizontal location in the image, and it's going to, in this one, this is a 60 frame reconstruction, so it's in six degree increments. So it's going to generate a 1032 pixel uh, vertical by 60 frame horizontal sinogram in six degree increment steps. It's going to extract that for each line from that uh, matrix of images, and it's going to it's going to threshold this a little bit. It's going to add an offset in amplitude, and it's going to add that uh, skew matrix that basically just adds a little bit to the bottom of each row, and or and subtracts like a little bit from the top, or vice versa. It'll then convert the fan beam into a parallel beam using a fan to para transform in MATLAB. And that will compensate for the fact that in the Faxtron X-ray system, the X-ray beams are coming at an angle, so they're coming at a fanned angle across uh, the object being scanned. And this will this transform will convert it into the geometry that would have existed if this, well the sliding ram that would have existed if those X-ray beams were parallel and um, entering the sensor orthogonal to the sensor's uh, xy plane. They'll then take the inverse radon transform of that sinogram for each given sl slice with six degree angle uh, increments, uh, linear filtering, and then a, a hamming window. And after that it will just uh, plot the, the cross-sectional image from one of the images in the x-rays. The well, the projection image, the sinogram, and the um, reconstructed tomography of the cross-section. So when that happens, it will look like this. So we're starting to scan from left to right. And we can see the switch body starting to form. You can see a little plastic insert in the switch body. Now we're getting down into the base of the switch. And you can see some of these springs and contacts starting to come into view. See the um, electrical connections, and then once we get out of the switch, you can see the three uh, solder tabs located here. And as you get right off to the end, you can s start to barely see this is running off the edge of the imaging array. You can see it partially on the reconstruction. You can definitely see on the sinogram. You can see that there is there is actually that uh, solder eyelet in the switch. So you can see that hole in the solder tabs. Now going back on the scan, one of the most impressive things you can see to verify this uh, tomographic reconstruction is right here. Now if we take a close look at the switch itself, this is what's being scanned. And you can see that little plastic tab that sort of looks like a question mark in the center, the blue one. Then you can see the ring on the outside and three little alignment tabs for the body of the switch um, 
to register in that uh, body of the switch for alignment. Now we can see the exact same thing on this reconstruction except that uh, for this you're actually looking at the cross section of the switch in this position so everything is sort of flipped but you can see that opening in that little question mark here you can see the uh, two uh, eyelet tabs or, or the one eyelet tab here on one side and sort of the two eyelet tabs on the other and somewhere in there is that little metal uh, locking tab I think that would be probably this so that this uh, reconstruction does not compensate for the fact that it's a cone beam can cat scan not a fan beam cat scan it has some issues so far with the uh, with the levels it has some artifacts uh, particularly with when you're when you're getting into sharp things like like the like the three solder tabs though inside you can actually start to see some of the features being resolved such as here we're scanning across a little spring you can see that spring right here so there's its spring body you can see on other locations you can see some of the electrical connections on the inside of that switch and then you can see right here those internal electrical connections where those solder tabs uh, connect unfortunately uh, as, as I previously stated this x-ray system only goes up to 35 kV uh, peak so it does have a little trouble getting through the plastic so even getting through like half an inch of plastic on this switch body is a bit of an issue and it's screening out uh, the inside so you can't see where those electrical connections are penetrating the plastic bottom of the switch but you can see them outside and you can see them the in inter some of the internal components where in locations where the, the plastic sidewall of the body is thin. So this is not bad for a first, for a first uh, shot at that uh, reconstruction. It is operational, though it's going to need a le um, little filtering and more post-processing to clean up those image artifacts and to get better contrast on the inside of the switch body. But that is where the project stands so far.